Hello, I'm Sheriff Bill Ayub of the Ventura County Sheriff's Office. In our commitment to being open and transparent with the communities we police, it is important to share with you a critical incident that occurred in Thousand Oaks in the early morning on Saturday, March 19th, 2022. It started with a call to our dispatch center from a citizen reporting a theft in progress in the 3100 block of Radcliffe Road. The caller was watching two male suspects steal a catalytic converter from beneath the vehicle. The caller was able to stay on the line with our dispatch center and relay information on the suspect's movements as deputies responded to the location. At one point, the caller reported that the suspects were leaving the area in two separate vehicles, both described as silver-colored sedans. Deputy Tyler Hackworth, who was assigned to the City of Thousand Oaks Patrol Station, was the first deputy to arrive in the area. To help provide an understanding of the progression of the incident, a map of the movement of the suspects and deputy, obtained through witness statements and physical evidence, will be overlaid as we continue to describe the incident. As Deputy Hackworth arrived in the area, he radioed that two vehicles matching the description provided by the caller failed to stop at the stop sign. Deputy Hackworth relayed to our dispatch center that he was initiating a traffic enforcement stop on one of the two vehicles, a gray 2016 Nissan Sentra bearing a California license plate. The vehicle failed to yield to Deputy Hackworth's emergency lights and siren, and a pursuit was initiated. Deputy Hackworth radioed that the suspect vehicle turned onto southbound Calle Estepa in a residential neighborhood and then briefly stopped south of Rollings Avenue. In the body-worn camera footage that will be shown shortly, Deputy Hackworth is seen beginning to get out of his patrol vehicle before getting back into his vehicle as the car flees from him. The pursuit continued eastbound on Rollings Avenue and eventually stopped in a cul-de-sac of Rollings Avenue. Deputy Hackworth exited his patrol unit, drew his firearm, and pointed it toward the suspect vehicle. The vehicle suddenly made a U-turn in the cul-de-sac. Deputy Hackworth yelled at the driver to stop multiple times as the vehicle accelerated towards him. The vehicle continued accelerating in the direction of Deputy Hackworth, who retreated backwards towards the rear of his patrol vehicle. It is during the retreat when Deputy Hackworth fired his weapon. In this critical incident video, we will share with you the body-worn camera footage from Deputy Hackworth, who at the time of the incident was the only deputy on scene. The video begins immediately after Deputy Hackworth attempts to stop the suspect vehicle. A warning, the images you're about to see can be disturbing and certainly are not suitable for all viewers. Second vehicle is failing to yield. First vehicle took off, still he's gone ahead of us. Central, first vehicle is failing to yield. Second vehicle is now. Station 1921, point is going to be John Young Sam 273, returning south on Estepa from Pedersen and on pursuit. Central, I'm pursuit south on Estepa. Hey, stop! Stop! Vehicles now eastbound on Rollings Avenue. It initially stopped and took off to be what it went out. Eastbound on Rollings. Boy 21 shots fired, vehicle tried to hit me. Ah. Station one, nine by twenty. Station one, nine by twenty one. Shots fired, and I'm also involved in a TC in front of rolling. Vehicle took off eastbound on rolling. Deputy Hackworth fired five rounds from his handgun, and the suspect vehicle fled the scene in a northwest direction on Rolex Avenue. Deputy Hackworth radioed information that he'd been involved in a shooting, that the vehicle's driver had attempted to hit him, and the vehicle's last seen direction of travel. Following the shooting, Deputy Hackworth continued to pursue the suspect vehicle until he was involved in a traffic collision with a parked car. 
It is unknown if anyone in the suspect vehicle was struck by the gunfire. Deputy Hackworth was not injured during the incident. This slowed video of Deputy Hackworth's body-worn camera footage shows him getting out of his patrol vehicle with his gun drawn, as is normally done during high-risk traffic stops such as this one. You can see the suspect vehicle make a U-turn and accelerate toward Deputy Hackworth before Deputy Hackworth fired his weapon. Body-worn cameras, including the ones used by all Ventura County Sheriff's deputies, are worn on their uniform. Most often, the deputies place them at their mid-torso level. Body-worn cameras capture video footage on a wide, fixed lens that has no zoom in or out functions. Anytime there's a deputy involved shooting, two investigations are immediately launched. The Sheriff's Major Crimes Bureau will conduct a thorough investigation of the entire incident for review by the District Attorney's Office. The District Attorney will determine whether the actions of the deputy were unlawful. Additionally, a Department Administrative Investigation will be conducted to determine if the deputy's actions were within policy. This incident is still under active investigation. No conclusions about the deputy's actions will be made until the investigation is completed. We understand this was hard to watch, but we appreciate you taking the time to view this critical incident video. Thank you.